What's up everybody, Tindo here, and I've gotta get some labels printed. It is Monday as of shooting this video, and uh, it's usually our biggest shipping day just because we usually sell a lot on the weekends. So, gotta get that done, and then we're gonna do some work in the game room today. Uh, there's a lot of things here that need to be organized and made to look better. And I've got some new ideas about how to display some cool stuff. So, stick around. <coughs> A fat stack of labels. Hannah is shipping packages and there's a Squirtle. Squirtle is being shipped to somebody who bought it off to those trash. So he's on the way. He's a little, he's a little guy. Okay, bye. All right, we are at the post office. We got a big old Ikea bag full of packages and we're gonna check the PO box. See if, uh, see if we got anything in the mail for us. There is a package for us, but uh, it's too big to fit in the boxes, so gotta go up front and pick it up. All right, well, we got two really, really big packages. Uh, we'll open these at the end of the video. But I can't even hold on to them, they're, they're, they're heavy. Actually, you know what guys? We're not gonna wait to the end of the video to open these packages like we normally do. We're gonna go ahead and get them out of the way now because our whole plan for today's video was to do some organizing around the game room. So I imagine there's some stuff in here that we'll need to go ahead and get organized. So let's get these opened up and then we'll start working on the game room. And uh, which one should we start with? We've got, we've got this package is from Leonardo in uh, Minnesota and this is from our friend Hubert in Canada. So which one do we open first? This one? All right, you wanna do Canada first? This is never easy. All right, I guess you wanna stick your hand in there, <laughs> pull something out. Well, I guess we need to open it. Make sure there's not a note right on top. We, sim we seem to always mess the note part of this up. All right, no peeking, no peeking. Not peeking, nice right. front. I hope there's not a note wrapped up in that. Well, there's a box inside this box. Make sure there's no note. I don't see one. Okay, I think we're good. This is wild. I didn't see it. What is I it? I saw it. I will. I, we're gonna have to go ahead and show you. It's a GameCube box. There's not a GameCube in it. Okay. You can see there's games on the little window. But that's awesome. It says open this side. Will do. Uh, did you, you'll have to comment below. Um, Hubert, let me know, did you send this because you've heard me say that I don't have an inbox GameCube or... There's so much awesome stuff. Or was this just extra clever packaging? Either way, I appreciate it because this is my first GameCube box. So, super stoked about that. All right, reach your hand in there and pull something out. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. Karate! Oh. <laughs> We'll go ahead and put them on the toy shelf. All right, my turn. There's a couple more toys in here. A little potato head. And uh, what do you, uh, slot machine Mario. Put him on the Mario shelf. All right, go ahead. Sega Ooh. game. Ooh, virtual racing, very nice. All right, keep going. NES game. Anticipation, Nintendo's first video board game. I'm Ooh. pretty sure I actually saw this at the thrift yesterday, but I didn't pick it up because it had like 10 bucks on it. There's stacks of NES games in here, I think. All right, let's pull out the rest of those. Baseball, sweet. Gyromite, oh, yeah. That's, awesome. that's uh, one of the games for, for Rob. For Yeah. Is that the robot's name? Yeah. For a second, I was like, it's one of those NES peripherals I don't own yet. I got my power glove, but I don't have the robot. Ultimate basketball. 
This, this guy's nailing it. These are all games I don't have. Super off-road for the Super Nintendo. Go ahead. Ooh, there's a VHS. The Empire oh. Strikes Back. That's awesome. I've got my uh, VCR plugged up over here. I'll have to, I'll have to throw that on. Black Hole. Let's go. Another VHS. <laughs> LOL. I think this is probably a comment on my beard. Duck Dynasty. That's hilarious. All right. Stack of what looks to be PlayStation games. I think that's it. All right. So, I'm, ex I'm as excited about this box as I am anything else. I will carefully take this tape off and I'll be putting it right up there on top of my shelves. Which is, I think we made it the right call going ahead and opening this stuff up now because yeah. one of the things I really need to work on is the, my top of shelves up there are looking kind of rough. So, we'll find a place to put that. All right. So, let's flip these all over. In Cold Blood for the PlayStation 1. Very nice. Oh, here's the lid oh, for it. <laughs> there's the rest of it. That's beautiful. I'm not familiar with this game. I've seen it. It needs a new case. It's all right. I can get it a new case. In Cold Blood. Dracula, Ooh. The Last Sanctuary. This guy is like hitting home runs here. I don't have any of these games. <gasps> That's awesome. That's getting played today. Star Wars Dark Forces. That's a Star Wars game I don't have. I'm familiar with it because I've seen it. Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. That's dope. Jesus, these are all great games. These are all getting played. And then there's a a, a Bakugan card. Nice. That's awesome. I uh, <laughs> Where'd you find this at? Laying in the bottom of the bin? All right, that's awesome. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm so hype about this GameCube box. So hype about it. That's so cool. God, those PlayStation 1 games look dope. I know, every one of them. Every one of them are bangers. There's not a game here that I already had. So all of this will be filed away into the collection today. Super hype. All right, Mr. Potato Head. Well, <laughs> I just dropped Mr. Potato Head, so. All right. Your turn. Don't kill us. I can't believe you let me do this. I can't either. Don't cut the video games, Hannah. <laughs> I can't do it. Keep her straight. Let's smash my fingers first. All right, you're doing really bad. I'm doing there. really bad. <laughs> you got you got to get it in there. Apply downward pressure. I did bad. Don't cut the video games. <laughs> All right. There's a note. I'm so bad at this. We need like. Flip it around the other way when I get this done. All right, flip it. Tape is our nemesis. This is so bad. You'd think we'd just be responsible adults and use a knife, but somehow I feel like that would actually be worse. All right, let's read the note. Hey, Tindo, just want to say thank you guys for your daily, uh, very fun videos. My wife and I look forward to them every day every morning sending you a box of what you call nonsense hopefully some ends up in your collection if not do as you please with this stuff hope this letter finds you both well uh stay safe and keep on hustling p.s if you could give my buddy uh connor mongo a shout out it would be pretty rad well shout out to you connor i hope i pronounced your last name correctly and didn't butcher it because i'm pretty terrible at names uh but thank you so much leo and also, I, I really like your name. I've always, always loved the name Leo. So, Leo, Connor, you guys rock. Uh, I thank you so much for this. I, I can't wait to see what's inside. And I just want to say to anyone that has sent a package, I do appreciate it. And it's not just because like, you're sending me awesome stuff. Like today, you know, we're, we have been thrifting about, I'd say about a quarter as much as we normally do and try to stay at home more and get more adult work done. And uh, I mean, we're still thrifting when we can, but it is a little bit scary right now because it's, you know, it's not going to last. Everything's going to finally shut down here in Phoenix probably really soon. And I quite worry about days like today where it's going to be really hard to fill these videos with content. So, you know, that's why we're going to do some reorganizing in the game room today because we don't have anything else. 
So I, I want to say thank you to you guys that do choose to send stuff because it really does help make content. That is that is probably the the biggest thing. That probably makes me the most thankful. I'm probably more thankful that you contribute to helping me make videos than I am for the stuff. Those stuff is pretty cool. So let's see what's in here. All right. Just oh my goodness, this is stacked. <laughs> Reach in there and grab something. Um, we'll start with the thing on top. Godzilla. Hold, Godzilla? On, hold on. Godzilla from the creator of Independence Day, Godzilla first showing. What is it? It's like a 3D. Is it? Is there? There's like a three uh, uh, a slide, like a picture slide. I'll it's have to, super cool. I bet you like put a flashlight to it or something. This is really dope. Limited edition Godzilla film frame. It's an actual frame of the film. Ooh. Dope. That's so cool. Hold on, I wanna see if the other one's the same thing. It was like a T-Rex stomping on a taxi or something. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, it's the same In one. That's Godzilla cool. Form. Yeah, that's beautiful. I've never seen those before. I'm Wish... peeking a little bit. All right, let's see. <laughs> is there three of them here? There's a few. Are the Oh my God. I saw the front, okay. We're gonna talk about this. It's the God cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. I just saw the one on top, Sly, uh, Slifer the Sky Dragon. Yeah, it's been a long time. I would say it was about a year, maybe almost even two years before we started this channel when Hannah and I really realized that reselling stuff was kind of our path forward. And we started, we started selling things from the bins, I would say, daily. We hadn't quite, I think at this time I'm thinking of, gotten heavily into reselling clothes. And so we just started selling everything also that was nailed down. We had a pretty cluttered house. Then we we're like, let's just get rid of stuff we don't need. So I ended up selling my entire gaming car, card game collection. I had thousands of Pokemon, thousands of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and I've, I've really always been into kind of random card games. So I had a bunch of other random stuff too. And I had no reserves about selling it. I'm kind of that way. When it's time to get rid of stuff to make space for new stuff, I just go, let's get rid of it. But I did wake up in a cold sweat about a week later because I realized I'd left the three Yu-Gi-Oh! God cards in there because I've had this dream for so long to frame them and put them on the wall. And these are going directly into a frame and hanging on my wall right above my computer. I'm s How and that was right <laughs> on top, too. Too bad, like... Uh, if, if something in this box tops that, I... I <laughs> we, if not, it's okay, because yeah, we got it. Yeah, That's amazing. Not, we started out great. Because we got... A link cable for Game Boy Advances, and it's still in its package. It's pretty dope. I'll hang that on the wall, too. I've got... I don't have this one. Uh, this is by Intech. I've got several third-party peripherals like this from that era that I love just hanging up on the wall. You want to reach your hand in there? No, you keep going. You're doing real good. Oh, the back fell off. Oh, Ooh. And it's a supercharger. Uh, this is an inbox Skylander supercharger, so it's for the racing Skylanders game. Uh, and that's awesome. I only have one other inbox Skylander, and the package is coming apart, but I, uh, I'm long practiced in resealing those, so I'll get that fixed. Oh, it's another, it's a, it's a still in package Skylander, but for McDonald's. These are great, because I see them all the time in the bins and I'll pull it out and go, ooh, there's a Skylander and I pull it out. <laughs> Hold on, am I tripping? That's a, a Pokemon. Pokemon. I just was, my brain was on Skylanders. No, that's a Pokemon, I'm dumb. I thought that's the back had tornadoes. Pokemon cards. <laughs> I'm not, oh, I didn't even see the Pokemon <laughs> card. God, I guess I need to clean my eyeballs out. There is a Slowpoke in there, a Slowpoke card and Tornadus toy, that's awesome. Well, that'll go on the Pokemon shelf. All right. Dark, what is it's it? a it's a Yu-Gi-Oh Dark Skull. The packaging on here is busted, but he's got a stand that he goes on top of. And you put it up to the light and you see it. I remember these on its Kaiba. Uh, it's gonna be impossible to see this on camera, but if you put that up to the light, you can see Seto Kaiba in it. That's awesome. Iron Man Two in theaters. He was right when he said a box full of nonsense. What is this? A puzzle? I think it's a puzzle from Burger King. We'll have to put it together later. Baseball Stars. I had that game growing up. Did you really? You I recognize did. this yeah. one? Yeah. Hannah, Hannah definitely played more NES and, and Super Nintendo than I did growing up because we'll be at the game store all the time or stuff like this. She'd be like, oh, I know that game. I've never seen this game. <laughs> it's fun. The Crew for Xbox One. That's awesome. 
Sounds very uh, Fast and the Furious. Before we started this channel, I think I had one Xbox One game, and now I've probably got like 25, 30, and they're all from you guys. Look I don't... how far you've come. Yeah, I've come so far. Sonic uh, the Hedgehog Game Gear, and then, yeah, that's awesome. I have this, but I'm happy to have an extra copy because I want to put my Game Gear games on display, and then this is one that I actually play. So we'll just leave that in the Game Gear. What is Did it? you look at no. it? No. <gasps> is that the one? That's not the one you played. No, it's, it's not. But it's that's Ninja so cool. Turtles. It's Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. Hold on. Sorry, Mystic Quest. It's a good game. I really like Ninja Turtles. Hold on. Can you see the TV? Yeah, you can see the TV. All right, well, it's Rip. <laughs> Probably just needs to be cleaned or something. Don't do this at home. It might be busted, but I can take it apart and clean it out real good. All right, well, sorry. Mr. Quest, you're back in. All right. What? <laughs> oh, man. I think it's a fighting game, too. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Melee. Well, I guess now I've broken the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Did I unplug it or something? You scrambled its brains. <laughs> I, I screwed it up. All right, that's awesome. Forza Horizon 2. A demo CD, all right. Cool games, free stuff, PlayStation demo CD. And this is one I don't have. I've never seen this. It's not one of the magazine ones. Sweet. Um, it probably needs new batteries, but this is actually a battery powered Thomas the Tank and he, he'll pull a bunch of cars. They're really strong. This is pretty cool. Star Trek, a Star Trek figure. I feel like this guy went to the bins and was just like, look at all this nonsense. <laughs> uh, a tall boy PlayStation game. I like calling them tall boys. That's awesome. Uh, Reckless, the Yakuza missions. I don't have that either. I'm going to spend all day organizing games into my collection now. Yes. The Naked Brothers Band, the video game. I love these big box PlayStation 2 games. I've got almost a shelf full of them. So it's even got, I think it's got the peripheral, a peripheral in it. Yep. It's got something bagged up in there. That's beautiful. WWF Raw. Let's go. You know what's funny? I, for a while, when we first started this channel and people actually first started sending stuff, I kind of kept a link to my collection underneath all the videos. Just in case, because like I, I kind of felt bad if people would send me stuff I don't have. I don't know what you guys are doing, but you guys are nailing it. Because that list is not up anymore. This is a Resident Evil movie, I think. Yeah, it's a DVD. Resident Evil Degeneration. Let's we'll pop that in. And the same for Final Fantasy VIII DVD. I'm excited about that one. I actually really wanted to play that one because uh, Cloud was one of my favorite characters in Kingdom Hearts, so I wanted to play that is one. Is that Cloud? Yeah. Cool. Did I say I eight? I think it's cool. seven. Or is that 12? It's seven. All of a sudden, we can't read Roman numerals. I just went cross <laughs> off. All right. So there's a couple magazines next. PSM, Resident Evil. Very nice. What magazine is this? PlayStation 2 magazine. Okay. Okay, no, no, it just, it's a PlayStation magazine. Just the title looks there's, different. There's a lot of magazines. <laughs> PlayStation magazine, one, two. These are all PlayStation. You just quadrupled my PlayStation magazine collection. All right, let's run through them real quick. 007, beautiful. Uh, very nice. Well, thank God I bought more of these magazine holders. You know what, matter of fact, these are from yesterday's episode. Let's go ahead and uh, do this right. All right. Uh, Midnight Club 2. Cool. Maximo. Beautiful. Blood Omen. These are all crisp, too. That's beautiful. Spider-Man. Devil May Cry. Final Fantasy. That one's beautiful, too. Tomb Raider, that's awesome. And then uh, Final Fantasy X2. A lot of Final Fantasy going on here. Is that all the magazines? So, yes, the last thing in here is 
kind of hilarious. And I think we need to do it. I think we need to in, partake in the fun. Okay. What was that? There's oh, a pin in there. There's a pin. We see it. Oh no, that's uh, you don't know. You probably not gonna know what this is. Um, yeah. So there was this thing back in the day. It was a Power Rangers toy, and it was like the four Beyblades, but that's a spin top. Oh. There was a launcher. I don't remember how it worked, but you would put the spin top, a Power Ranger spin top in there, and it would it would spin it. That's what that is. That's awesome. And what on God's green earth is this? Pokemon Battle Dome. I was going to say bomb. Sure wish I could read. All right, well, we'll, uh... All right, yeah. It's, it's, we'll, we'll open this in a bit and take a look at it. But that's it for the stuff that we just got in the mail. I'm hyper excited. That's a haul. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't even have to go thrifting today. It just all showed up on our door. I'm probably the most excited about, definitely excited about this box. That's cool, but like just all these games are like stuff we don't have and, and, and most of it looks playable. So I'm excited about all these games. That's really exciting too, because you haven't really been very successful in finding a ton of things that you don't have in your collection already at the thrift. Yeah, the last couple of weeks, it, it, since we got back from our trip, it's like everything I see at the thrift store, I'm like, I've got that whole shelf. That's happened, that's happened a surprising amount of times. So all this is pretty awesome. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do now. Let's start organizing this game room and I'm gonna scan all these games into my app and put them away and, uh, and then I don't know what. We got, we got a lot, we got a lot to put away. This is dope. I have a Pokemon shelf. One of the things we're gonna do today, and I guess we'll do here in a second, Hannah needs to put her Xena collection on a bigger shelf. Now it's starting to look like my Pokemon collection's gonna need to go on a bigger shelf, because this is wild. But yeah, let's get, to, let's get to work. And also, I need to apparently fix my Super Nintendo, because I just broke it right here on, on the video. Maybe I just didn't see it right. All right, well, we, we got Mystic Quest back. I'll have to, I'll have to get the appropriate tools out and clean the super, clean the turtles game. We look back this way. I've been filing away NES games up here. I think I've almost got a full shelf. NES, Super Nintendo. All right, SpongeBob, hold those guys up. SpongeBob, you're top heavy. You can't, you can't fight me now, bro. I have the ultimate power. Bubble wrap. But I'm not gonna pop a bunch of it because we'll reuse this to ship our stuff. That's what a full shelf of these magazine holders look like. If you needed to know, if you've been buying these at the thrift store like I have, and I know some of you have been because there's a bunch of you that have shared your pictures on the Discord, that you've been finding these same magazine holders at the thrift store. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them fits perfectly on the bottom shelf of a standard IKEA Billy bookcase. That's good to know. Ten across. That's pretty awesome. Video game organizing is never the most straightforward thing. A lot of people just want to put their games in alphabetical order, and that's the end of it. I tend to like to like keep my Mario games together. You know, not necessarily in alphabetical order, just all of them in chronological order. And I'm kind of having the same problem here now with my gaming manuals. And really the way that I want to organize them is there's like two tiers. There's stuff that I'm going to play this year probably, like all my Mario stuff and some Kingdom Hearts stuff. And I kind of just want to put those together. I want to put the stuff together that I like. Forgot about that. Forgot all about it. Put this aside for your uh, Xena shelf revamp here in a minute. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going through my Skylanders one by one and separating them out by collection. So I'm grabbing all the orange base ones now and then I'm gonna basically print out a checklist for them. These are giants, Skylander giants. So I'm going to uh, just maybe not get all this done today but start knocking out, cataloging my Disney Infinity and then you know some Skylanders just a little bit every day until I'm there. Uh, I really didn't know a lot before today, I sit down today and read a bunch of uh, things about how to determine which set they're from, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna get them cataloged today. It's just something that's gotta be done. 
So I've got them all sorted out into their individual sets. Like there's superchargers, and there's, I forget which is the name of which, the red base ones, sort them into green base. And here's my bag of Disney Infinity, et cetera, et cetera. And I've begun printing out pretty crappy checklists, just ripping the images off of Google and putting checks by the ones that I have. I do need to find some of the actual official artwork posters that service checklists. I don't have them currently, but this will do for now. Just keep me straight and keep me from buying more doubles that I don't need. So it's, it's been a lot of work. I've been working on this for a couple hours now, but I'm going to move on to something else. So today just took an interesting turn. We were just leaving the house to go to the grocery store and there's an official announcement from the governor that he is putting in place a mandatory stay at home order so a lot of you guys have been watching you guys have been locked down at home for a couple of weeks uh, for whatever reason uh, the perception of how the virus the coronavirus here in arizona was spreading was that it wasn't spreading fast now again there's so much information out there that's hard to interpret now whether that's because the lack of testing or because it simply wasn't spreading fast uh, i don't know but our governor and our health officials have now said it's time to stay at home. So I'm sure that means all the goodwills are closing down, et cetera, et cetera. And honestly, every day that we've been making videos since this started, we've, we've talked about it every single day. Is today the day that everything's gonna get closed down? Is today the day that everything's gonna slow down? And every day, it's pretty much been no progression. There's been next to no changes uh, or any new information from our public officials. But today's the day everything's locked down i almost wondered if it's maybe a good idea to not go to the grocery store right now because we're not terribly desperate for anything we but we're already on the way and we only have like two or three days worth of groceries right now so we're gonna go get a few more days worth of groceries some stuff to eat i do have a little bit of a worry that since that information was just now announced i'm betting that everyone knows by the end of the night and then i would almost imagine tomorrow is probably gonna be a pretty crazy day at the grocery store so i'd rather go now rather than later and try to avoid that uh but yeah things are changing we're uh we're catching up with the rest of the country and uh it's looking like our next next couple of weeks worth of videos at least hopefully not more but probably more gonna be at home so i want i'll tell you what i want you to do right now before we get to the grocery store i want you to pause the video comment below i want some real suggestions for some video games or other forms of entertainment you guys think we should uh do for ourselves not necessarily for videos though if you've got any suggestions we'll at least hear them um we're going to be playing a lot more video games if we're stuck at home so I know you guys have, uh, there's a lot of you guys watching that have been with us for a while and you've seen us buy certain games. We've communicated whether down in the comments section or over on our Discord about said video games. So stop the video, comment below, tell us the top five games you think we should play. And, uh, you know, maybe that way we'll have some good recommendations moving forward because life's about to get tricky. Chrome Chrome Apocalypse. All right, we are at Walmart, and I would say this Walmart is packed a good little bit more than it normally would be, so I, I don't think we're going to go in there and there'll just be pandemonium or anything, but uh, who knows. I need to get a couple pairs of underwear or something, and I need to get some sticky snacks, like some uh, Ritz crackers or something. Some Ritz crackers. We eat the Ritz crackers immediately. So, yeah, we need them right now. I don't know what that guy said, but... He was curious why we had a camera. Yeah, I've never seen the lines of this Walmart this long. They're all the way back here. And Hannah had to go all the way back outside just to get a cart. She was able to snag one though. You gonna give me a ride? It is absolutely customary to check out the toys before you go grocery shopping, right? Does anybody else do that even during a pandemic? You gotta have you gotta have a little bit of, of a good thing in your life, is what I'm saying. And they keep making more of these. Where they go? There's just more different Mario Hot Wheels every time I go to Walmart. I want them, but I'm not, I'd spend like 50 bucks right now if I went and bought all of them. All right, what are we buying before quarantine? <laughs> it's your last chance, Hannah. Let's get Luigi Mansion before quarantine. Why can't it be 30 like Mario Rabbids are? It's too new. <laughs> too, it probably never will be 30 bucks. You think that one's big enough? Probably just a little shy. Let's get this one. 
That's for, that's for special use. I'll show you when we get home. So I've got some socks and look, this might be TMI, but do you have any idea how hard it is to find 3X underwear? It's really hard, so I'm gonna get them. Snacks. 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 Hannah looking like a snack. The eggs are absolutely ripped. Not a single one. If you want eggs, this is all you're getting right here. That's rough. We've still got a lot of toilet paper at home, so it's not a big deal, but man, I'd feel bad for anybody that was coming here to get some. It's crazy. You can see all the way through. Hannah, Exotic Joe would approve. Well, that was wild. All right, let's go home. So I think we did all right on that trip because as we were leaving Walmart, tons and tons of more cars than were already there were pouring in. So it's gonna be a rough couple of days, I think, here in Phoenix. I hope it doesn't get too crazy. I hope everybody stays safe, but we're loaded up on groceries for the next week, maybe week and a half. So. Hopefully we'll be all right. Also, I think I see something sitting outside our door. The Amazon angel has visited. I actually ordered this quite a long time ago. Kind of interesting that it's showing up today. Uh, but uh, let me take it inside and show you what it is. All right, Mr. Amazon. A box in a box, classic. Yay, more boxes. All right, check this out. You're gonna like this. That right there. That's 1,500 Nerf darts. We actually ordered these before uh, our toy booths closed down. So now we'll just get these bad boys priced and uh, put them in our toy booth whenever it opens back up. It's probably gonna be at least a month. Our governor just announced that uh, our mandatory stay at home is starting tomorrow, actually, tomorrow at five, and it will last until at least April 30th. So at least a month. So I've got plenty of time to get these darts sorted. <laughs> So every Monday, a member of our Discord actually puts on a Mario Kart tournament. And if that sounds like the kind of thing you might actually be interested in, you should go join our Discord. Uh, we're always trying to play some video games together. We don't do it a ton, but I definitely like to join in a little bit when some of our viewers have tournaments and whatnot. And I also just absolutely love Mario Kart. So let's go. It's starting. Charlie's right there. All right. One of us has to win at least one today. That's not gonna happen but me. These guys we're playing with are really good. These guys are so quick. I'm out here racing a perfect race. I'm still in sixth. Haven't messed up at all. God, I messed up. Oh, Did you just star it. power me? Oh, <laughs> I pushed us both off. All right, here comes Bullet Bill. Oh, I'm, no. I'm so bad, I got the bill. I got the bill. Fifth place and seventh place. That's the best we've done so far. I was in second at the end of that. <laughs> and then just everybody Every, annihilated. Everybody was, everybody was saving a bullet bill for the end. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the toy booth now because I am about to put a bunch of price tags on these darts that I got today. It's a bit premature because it's very likely gonna be a month, maybe even two before we can even get back into our toy booth. But I am trying to look at the bright side here because I was already a little bit overwhelmed with how much product we still needed to accumulate to put in our toy booths. It was something I was sweating a little bit. I mean, it, it was all part of, uh, you know, it was all part of the deal because we knew we were going to open these toy booths a little bit faster than we should have. We, you know, one could argue that we should have waited, but Hannah and I made the decision, let's just do it. Let's go kick our own asses out there thrifting. Let's thrift hard and get them filled up. And of course, the coronavirus uh, pandemic came along and it slowed us down. But we were able to get in enough thrifting in this last week, week and a half before everything officially shut down that um, we're going to we're gonna have a pretty easy time refilling our booth uh, whenever this is all over, whether it be a month or three, however long it's going to be, whenever the ban is lifted and it's time to go back to our toy booths, we're going to have plenty of everything because I, I kid you not, I haven't done all of it on the video every night this last week. I have at least priced a, an Ikea bag full of stuff. That's yesterday's stuff right there. So... Uh, I'm going to get today's stuff priced, and I can probably do this for another week, week and a half. I've probably got a couple weeks worth of work just to get all this stuff priced. So that's, so all I'm saying is I'm, you know, I'm looking on the bright side here. It sucks that we're not going to be making that extra money from our toy booths, 
But uh, as long as the whole economy doesn't crash and everyone's broke for the rest of the year, once all this is over, uh, we should do fine on our toy booths and uh, we should sell some Nerf darts. So let me get to this. Let's see how this is gonna look. I messed these first batch of labels up a little bit, but that's fine. That looks all right. And then there you go. Tendo's trash, get you some Nerf darts. How about that? I didn't put my name on them. I just put the, I put the little trash dude. All right, I got 150 of these to do, so I'll catch you in a little bit. So here's that picture frame that I bought while we were at Walmart. Uh, this doesn't look as clean as I would really like for it to, these God cards, but when they're in a regular picture frame, it'll look better. But for now, they're gonna sit here in front of my TV and they're gonna guard me while I sleep. So how about that? The last thing we gotta do today is we've gotta get Hannah's ever-growing Xena Warrior Princess collection moved from this tiny shelf she's now getting her own bookcase we're kind of moving things around she's gonna eventually be able to fill up this whole bookcase with her stuff because she's got a whole sims collection that'll definitely take up like two shelves this will probably take up the xena warrior princess and then we'll find something for the rest of it but tonight we're just gonna mess with the xena warrior princess so let's do that Hannah! So the whole reason that we have to upgrade to a bigger shelf is because of this newest addition to the Xena shelf, which is the complete, almost complete VHS first season of Xena Warrior Princess. Very excited. So let's get all this displayed. Ooh, and I kind of forgot about this. We got this at Bookman's on sale for $3. It was thebomb.com because I actually have that game. Pop figure, so pretty. There's the game that it goes with. Also got it, Bookman's. Very nice. Oh no! It's Rip Fam. These are Xena trading cards. They're so cool. They're probably the coolest thing we have Xena wise. And now you got some room to grow. A little bit. All hmm. right. Yeah, where are you gonna put it? <laughs> you done messed up. I know. Here, I, I think I think you're good if you scoot this back and just kind of corner that one. There we go. How about that? Two more things for the Xena shelf. The N64 game and the Xena action figure from Hercules, the TV show. I have too many large things. She definitely needs to go there. That's pretty cool because now just Xena's showing. There you go. Boom. That's a lot of Xena. I love it. All right, probably next time we'll clear some of this off and put your Sims collection up there. What do you think? Yes, definitely. All right. Did you check out my bullet bill? We actually bought this on an episode a couple weeks ago that never actually made it on the channel because there was huge audio issues. We just threw it in the trash can. But that's now my favorite part of my Super Mario collection. Pretty dope. Good old bullet bill. Now, that's all that we're gonna get done today. Not quite as much as I planned to get done, but I guess if there's any other silver linings to the fact that we're now going to be stuck at home, is that we've got all the time in the world to get stuff done. The official lockdown here in Phoenix begins tomorrow at the end of business is what the official report or the official statement from the governor was. So I guess about five o'clock tomorrow, all non-essential businesses here are gonna get shut down. And believe me, I understand a lot of you have already went through that. A lot of you have already been sitting at home for a little while. So uh, we're gonna be catching up with you, I guess. We're gonna be sinking into madness with you starting tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll probably change up the format of the channel a little bit since we're officially gonna be at home and it's officially gonna be a bunch of uh, uh, us walking around the house trying to act like we're not crazy people. So expect something a little different in the next few episodes while we figure out how we're going to get through this. But at any rate, I appreciate you guys sticking with us. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Now do me a few favors before we get out of here. Get ready for our podcast. We've been doing it every single Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we really want to push the time back. Whether or not that's going to happen today. I don't know, but uh, just be ready for that. We're still gonna do our podcast on Tuesdays, but we're gonna be looking to find a better time so maybe more of you can watch. I'm not really sure. We're gonna figure it out though, but do mark your calendars for every Tuesday live podcast here on the channel. It's always a good time. We always find something random to do, but also before you go, do go join our Discord. Come hang out over there. I'll tell you what, it is more lit than ever over on the Discord because everybody's at home right now. Everybody's playing tons of video games and there's a lot of people over there showing off 
you know, they, <laughs> some stuff they're building for their game rooms and how they're rearranging their game rooms, which is kind of what got me motivated today to move some stuff around because there's a lot of people over there on our Discord moving stuff around. So do go join the Discord. The link is below. And then before you go, guys, please hit that subscribe button. You know what? If we all work together, I can get to 2,000 subs here on the channel before the whole quarantine thing's over, right? That'd be awesome. So hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And then everyone that is subscribed, hit that notification bell so that tomorrow you can get a notification as soon as I post a video and you can come back and find out how much more into the madness I have sunk. So until then, guys, peace out.